Hey, it's JC. Welcome to Urban Knife Guy, where we explore the urban lifestyle and the jungle survival. Recently, a company from Ukraine, MRF Tools, sent me a bunch of their products. Now, they specialize in EDC items, specifically credit card size tools. And I was pretty intrigued. As you know, I have reviewed quite a few credit card tools on this website. So I'm going to open these up and I'm going to show you what's inside and give you my first impressions. First, if you watch this channel regularly but have not subscribed, please do so to help the channel out. And if you'd like to support the channel even more, do check out my shop links in the pinned comment or description. And you can even join this channel as a member. Thanks a lot. Here are the first three credit card tools. There's a hunter kit, fisherman kit, and this is the urban kit. I've actually seen similar kits for outdoors, but I've never seen an urban kit. So let's have a look at this one first. So it just comes in this card, and you get the stainless steel set of tools over here. And then you get the description of all the items and that kind of lined up. So you do have a pin tool for the phone, that's to take out your uh, SIM card, and you get two of them. There are needles, three of them, buttons, it's pretty interesting. You get tweezers, that's this over here. I believe you have to actually pop this out and then you interlock the ends. And I guess the spring tension from the metal work as tweezers. And this entire card itself can be a thread holder. So you actually can just coil it around like that. Now I would say, just feeling this, it's pretty thick, uh, which is actually pretty good. Let's see how thick it is. So that's about 0 0.8 millimeters. Not too bad. Uh, it does feel very solid. Normally when I think of cards like this, and honestly, I haven't bought any, I've seen them. Uh, they seem a bit flimsy and I, I don't really know if they'll work. Now, for an urban environment, I think this is actually pretty cool. If you have a wallet or a pouch and you just want to have this on you, I'm not going to pop these open, okay, because they seem to be all nicely there. But I would put this in an urban kit because it doesn't take up any space. And then I've got needles, I've got, I can put thread around and then I've got buttons. I think pretty useful and I think uh, that's actually pretty good. This is the urban card. Now, the fisherman card. Now I've seen something similar like that and you get fish hooks, you have needles again, well two needles here, you get a fork, a fishing lure and then fishing line again, similar, you can wrap it round. Uh, same thickness of stainless steel, um, again these are first impressions. I have not field tested this, I don't intend to field test it, uh, but it's interesting to see what you get in this kind of a form factor. And definitely again, if you want to put it into a kit, it's not going to take up much space. Here's the hunter kit, something I'll unlikely use, and you get two arrowheads, you get sp one spearhead, and then you get three smaller arrowheads. Okay, that's the one inside here. So. I'm not sure how you're going to secure the heads into the shaft of the wood that you can, of course, cut. I guess you would split it and then you would, for the larger one, for the spear at least, you can tie it with paracord. Not sure about the smaller ones. If you've got experience, do let me know. So what are my initial thoughts on this first impressions? Okay, quality is great. I think there's some heft to it. Thickness is good, stainless steel. Now I'll only comment that the price seems a bit high. These go for 13 US dollars, but you can buy them, I believe in a package for about 35 US dollars. But for the outdoor cards, I've seen them actually go for probably one quarter the price, but I've no idea how thick those are and what quality uh, those are. Now if those are really thin and flimsy, then I can see why uh, these would be more expensive. But I definitely, for myself personally, I think this is pretty cool uh, for an urban card. It's, I believe, useful items uh, that you definitely use in an urban setting and doesn't take up much space. This next card is pretty interesting. When I first saw it and I opened it, I had no idea what it's supposed to be. It looked like a pair of trousers, uh, especially with this particular pattern. Uh, but this is actually a multi-tool and they call this a knife tool and this design that you see uh, there are different patterns this is a tribal tattoo Maori pattern and all these shapes that you see they're really for ergonomics for grip I guess to hold so what is it well there's a knife over here as you can see there's a secondary bevel this is more of a scraper I'm sure you could sharpen it if you want there's a 
flat head screwdriver over here pretty small one and then this is a bottle opener which i believe yep you grip it this way and then make sure you don't cut yourself so that's you have to get used to this so i would say you know this particular pattern throws me off a bit because it's a bit of a camouflage so you really have to get to know the two in order to know where you grip in case if not you can see it's very easy to get confused due to the patterns stainless steel 420c uh, as a card i think yep it's functional not something i would edc but definitely something I can imagine putting at the bar counter because you've got that bottle cap opener, a few tools, and then, you know, to open any kind of packaging, maybe even wine, uh, beer, cartons, plastic, that would come in, you know, pretty useful. Let's see how sharp the blade is. I'll, I'll comment, the blade is a chisel grind, so that means it's only sharpened on one side. And it's this is covered with Cerakote paint, so that's nice and strong and I'm sure that's just for protective coating but this is stainless steel but as a result it doesn't feel very uh, fine I would say the blade let's just see if it can cut okay it's not bad it, it actually yeah it slices you can feel a bit of bite but I think if I strop this just a bit or even just pass it across the stone four or five times I think it's actually gonna slice very well so actually this is pretty good for what you get uh, it's 28 us dollars i would say again pricey for what you get in my opinion but if there's a design you like uh, again i think this is going to last you a long time i have saved the best for last because i think this is a really awesome card it's called the professional and it's really for anyone who does diy work you need to do measurements in the workshop i believe even if you design stuff on paper you're definitely going to use it and if you want to do markings on wood or material in order to cut i think this is perfect it is really a professional looking tool very complicated uh, there are some features over here but there's an instruction card that i'll show you which is actually a bit more legible but basically here to look at it this is made from 420 steel as well stainless steel very strong heat treated to 52 hrc and it does feel very sturdy and you see there's so many cutouts and i'll say that this is very well designed very well thought out of i'm not sure if you will use every single feature but definitely there are a lot of things uh, to unpack so here's the instructions it just tells you what you have i won't go through every single feature you can kind of have a look at it here but basically a whole bunch of different rulers uh, templates uh, guides for drawing lines even have a drill gauge so if you don't have the measurements for the tool you don't have a pair of calipers you can actually put the drill bits in here to figure out what's the diameter i guess you can do that for any rod you can even measure the thickness of steel or any kind of uh, sheet metal over here uh, really pretty good bottle opener of course that's a prerequisite for any credit card tool and uh, you have a protractor because you can do all your angles you, you have the dots that you can kind of just uh, measure out as you need so really an awesome tool and there's also this this one quarter inch bit driver and for the drill bit here so let's see if it fits yeah it fits there so you can just use this if you need to unscrew something but of course if you have a tool kit you're probably going to have a really good driver but it's just a nice feature and i think what they really wanted to do is to pack as many features as possible within this card and i think you'll just find new things that you can use it for and i guess you can use it as a set square as well so just really, really good stuff. And I think the way I see this would work perfectly. If you have a mini tool pouch as I do, this could slip in there. It doesn't take up any space. Uh, it's not heavy as well. Yet you have a whole lot of functionality within this toolkit. Of course, if you have a full toolkit, you have different tools uh, for different purposes. But I think if you're looking for one of these compact size multi-tools, in this case for measurements and markings, then I think uh, this is really awesome.
So those are some of the tools from MRF Tools. Do check out the website. I'll put the links in the description below. They've got many other tools and I would say this, they have really thought about their different tools, the functionality they want to put inside. It's really excellent, right? So I would say I'll put this a grade up in terms of thinking, in terms of what they wanted to incorporate and maximize the space within a card. They have done this better than any other card that I've seen. So I think it's worthy to check out. And to me, this professional is a winner. Well, let me know your thoughts on these cards. Do you have anything similar? And if you have these particular versions. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like the content in general, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.